electrodes. We have different types of electrodes for the different use of the electrode in the determination of pH of any given solution or for the ion selection, uh, filtration or detection of the solutions. Okay, so with respect to that, we have different types. The first classification is, it is the reference electrodes. In these reference electrodes, the first one is the primary reference electrode and in this category, the major one is what we discussed earlier, that is standard hydrogen electrode. Okay, standard hydrogen electrode is a primary reference electrode. Why it is said a reference electrode means it is used to know the electrode potentials of different metals by using the unimolar concentrations of metal solutions. Okay, so, so standard reduction potentials of the, all the metals will be known by using standard hydrogen electrode and arbitrarily the standard hydrogen electrode, electrode potential is taken as zero. That is the reason it is said as a primary reference electrode. Okay, so the reference electrodes are the electrodes which will be used for the determination of electrode potentials of the given unknown metals. So that is the reason uh, these are called as the reference electrodes. Okay, and we have so many different other purposes like we can able to know the pH of the solution and we can able to detect the, the metal reduction potentials and even some cases like ion selective electrodes are used to detect specific ions. Okay, so standard hydrogen electrode. Let's see what happens with the standard hydrogen electrode when we connected two hydrogen electrodes in which one is standard hydrogen electrode and the other where the unknown solution is kept or simply determination of pH of the solution by using hydrogen electrode. Let's see the systematic diagram first. Standard hydrogen electrode is connected to the hydrogen electrode where the H plus ions or the test solution which is containing the H plus ions will be kept here. And uh, the all the setup is as same as the standard hydrogen electrode except the solution present here will be the test solution and where the unknown concentration of H plus ions are present. Okay. Now, this electrochemical cell, if you write at anode, we know that it will be oxidation. So, H2 gas will give rise to H plus ions plus 2 electrons and at cathode, the reduction process where the 2 H plus ions will take the electrons and it liberates the H2 gas. So, at cathode, the H2 gas will be liberated and at anode the H2 gas will be sent inside. In this reaction here at anode this concentration is unknown and here its concentration is 1 molar as at cathode the standard hydrogen electrode is placed. Okay, now 
For this reaction, when we apply the Nernest equation, applying the Nernest equation, it will be, we know that E cell is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT by NF that is the concentration of products. Okay, so in this we will consider the reduction reaction. So it will be H2 gas and here it will be H plus concentration. Okay, and here N will be 2. Okay, so by applying the Nernest equation we will get E cell is equal to C E naught is the standard hydrogen electrode potential that is we know that it is 0 and it will be when we simplify this it will be 0 0.05916 by 2 here log I'm sorry here it is log so log 1 by H plus after further simplification we will get E cell is equal to plus 0 0.05916 that is pH. As we know that the negative logarithm of H plus ions is equal to pH. Okay. So the log 1 by H plus when we convert it will be minus log H plus. Okay. So minus log H plus is the pH. Okay, so here the negative sign will be retained. So the pH is equal to E cell by 0 0.05916. So in this way, the concentration of H plus ions in a given unknown solution will be known. Okay, so by using the first application of the Nernest equation, if you consider, by using the Nernest equation, we can able to calculate the pH of the given unknown solution.